Lisa wants to say a uh, brief statement and then we're just going to get on with the day. Appreciate the opportunity to speak to you guys. Yeah, the, uh, my statement uh, speaks for itself what I said uh, on the record in court. I was asked to marry that couple before Christmas. And then I was called Christmas Eve to go to the hospital and to uh, marry them because they wanted to be married before the child was born. So I went to the hospital. I did call. I followed the law. I called the Chiawassee County clerk. I got the two witnesses that were needed to perform the marriage. And then I left. My parting remark, which is still on my phone, I videoed it because it was an unusual situation. And once they said they didn't have a document, I absolutely had, in my opinion, had to film it because it was uh, not uh, appropriate at that time. But I figured if, as we worked down the road, it was important for them to have their child married. It's important for me to have uh, parents married before they have a child. Well, I can understand that. But if you knew that they didn't have their license, why go through with it? Why not just wait? It's a difficult, well, you can't wait because the baby's being born. And you don't want the baby to be considered born to unmarried parents. There's a word they used to use for that when uh, parents uh, or uh, spouses had children before they were married. And do you personally feel that being illegitimate is inappropriate? Uh, at that moment, I knew what their desire was. They wanted to be married before the baby was born, so I tried to help him meet that desire. It was a hard thing to walk out of when the ladies in labor, it was a very emotional state to be involved in. And what did you think about what Ms. Fulcher had to say and the other victim impact statement that the prosecutor read? Um, you know, that's, um, we were not expecting anything like that today, quite frankly, considering what this case was resolved to. Um, this case was resolved prior to any proofs being taken on the original complaint. No testimony was taken from either of those two individuals. As a lawyer, I have to look at what they're saying as a completely unsubstantiated statement. That's all it is. And uh, had this case involved him pleading to some kind of witness tampering or misconduct in office based on how he was treating his employees, we would have contested it. We would not have resolved it to him admitting that. So you dispute what they had to say? It, it's not that I dispute it, it's unsubstantiated. In the eyes of the law, it's their statement. So be it. But I was a little surprised. I don't really think this was the venue for it. Uh, they may be looking to sue the county at some point. That happens, and that's probably the venue for it. Um, but remember, this case was resolved not just by this man pleading guilty to the violation of the Marriage Act. This was an agreement between the government, Mr. Gleason, the court approved of it. Um, if it was that strong of an allegation, if the government felt that strongly about it, then why plead this case the way it was? It was, and I'll tell you why, it was pled this way because this is what this man did. Yes, he was trying to do the right thing on Christmas Eve. He was literally called during dinner. He raced across county lines to go do this at night in the early evening hours. He shouldn't have done it. Once he found out there wasn't a, a marriage license, he should have stopped. And he knows that. But he thought he was trying to do the right thing for a couple that was literally about to give birth. Um, I that's what he surgeon. did. I went out the curtain and the surgeon came in to take the baby that's how imminent it was that's what he did and that's what he's admitted to it was hard to and walk away from i don't know how what kind of person work. could who could walk away from that setting that's a tough one to walk away from when she's in labor and she's suffering and uh, they don't speak english i don't speak spanish there was a lot of circumstances that uh, were just uh, unusual um I think it says something from my character, even though it was assaulted today, when I would go to a hospital on Christmas Eve, and it was that important for me for principles and values, that I would get in my truck and drive 25 miles one way when I was asked to perform that marriage. When I went to the hospital, 
When I was called, I fully expected them to have a marriage license because that was the instruction I gave the interpreter. The last time I talked to the interpreter, I told him you had to get a marriage license. And what's next for you? Retirement? Another line of work? Um, I'm going to get through this first. I need to get through this first. I need to spend some time with my wife and my family. This is, it'll be three years. One month from now, it'll be three years that I've been involved with this. So my family's endured a lot. Family is important to me. I know that uh, I was well represented. I had a fabulous team that was backing me up. My wife and I had full confidence on those that we engaged in this process. I don't have any doubt in my mind what would have happened if we would have taken it to full course. But I got to get on with my life. This has been three years of my life and my family. Um, I'm very pleased with the representation I had. They did a very nice job. Uh, we were blindsided today by the remarks. We never expected that. Um, it's tough to plead when they're going to hit you with a final salvo that you don't get to even respond or defend. And what do you believe would have happened if you'd gone the full course? We would have won. Not a doubt in my mind. And you said you, you just want to get this done. The court proceeding is done. So does this mean the probation or does that mean something else? Let's get to the holidays. How's that? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Well said. <laughs> Thank you.